Former Chief Justice of Nigeria, Justice Muhammad Lawal Uwais, who chaired the occasion in his presentation, described the role of the media as critical in facilitating the participation of citizens in public discourse. He said, as watchdog of the society, the media must perform its role effectively by promoting issue-based political competition and choices instead of ethnic or primordial driven politics. From our experience in the past, the media in the country had been accused of unfair and inequitable coverage of political parties. Gamma media were also accused of giving undue prominence to the ruling parties while the media owned by private individuals were accused of ethnic and regional uh, uh, prejudices in their reportage of political events. Minister of Information Mr. Labaran Marku said the media as a marketplace of ideas should conduct itself well by creating an enabling environment for all players. It's the responsibility of every Nigerian citizen to ensure that we behave ourselves in such a way that we create the enabling environment, the necessary atmosphere for a free election to take place. Individual citizens can start the process through utterances that can create disaffection, that can create disagreements, that can, you know, mislead innocent people to behave in ways that will tamper with a free choice in an election. Development partners also reminded the media of its role in the electoral process. You have the power to influence. You have a critical role to play in using your influence to help move Nigeria away from personality-driven politics and toward the development of lasting political institutions. You should realize that words spoken or printed can be extremely powerful and even little in terms of their potential to cause destruction or they can also be extremely helpful to build a stronger nation showed that radio and TV were the most mentioned sources, radio 57%, TV 55%, ahead of family, friends, um, and other, all, other, um, all other responses. We pledge to ensure that we work within the broadcast code that um, before every election is always published by the National Broadcasting Commission, and by the way, it is not done just by NBC on its own. It is done um, in collaboration with broadcasters. Some of the participants spoke on the relevance of the forum. Um, I want to believe that the ITV management and staff will ensure that they stick to the broadcast code. And even as they get a lot of demands from politicians, even with um, attractive um, uh, revenue offers. They make sure they stick to the rules. And they won't say, oh, because a politician, you know, will be able to pay for all uh, the slots. And they won't make provisions for the other in the station too. So there's, a, you know, a code or a guide, you know, to ensure that every political party is given a level uh, and fair playing ground so that everybody will be accommodated. Uh, to me, I think I, think I see it as, as an eye-opener especially the humor, humorous aspect. Some people might see it as the very humorous aspect. But I don't see it as, as that when he said, if um, any station falters, it is not only the station that should be fined, but the GM as well, you know, should either be, be fined or even jailed. You know, should go a step, you know, for, further to make sure that, um, you know, such anomalies are not allowed. So that's, that's the high point. The forum, which was organized by the National Broadcasting Commission in collaboration with the Independent National Electoral Commission, has as its theme, Broadcast Media Coverage of Election, a preamble to 2015. Joseph Inbitrus, ITV News, Abuja.